Hello, hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for another 1 6 scale third party review. Today we are checking the present toys Lucius Fox. Here is the package that it comes with. Pretty simple, nothing special, only with Lucius Fox present toys here in the front the sides and the back there's nothing more uh, special about this package let's open it up and see what we got inside here it is our lucius fox in the first layer you got your figure with some small accessories i'm going to take out the figure to have a closer look and now as you can see if it resembles morgan freeman or not it all depends on your uh, opinion I think it's not quite there, but the lack of um, a Lucius Fox in our collections, this is what we got. And I think if you see it from afar, it's quite okay. Uh, the expression is not quite there. Uh, in some angles, it doesn't look like him. But then if you use in other angles... I think it's okay. They did the details on the face, like those wrinkles, and uh, it seems a bit like Morgan Freeman, but it's really not there. I don't know if his head sculpt is a recast from any other release. I'm really not sure. If it is, I'm sorry, but that's the head sculpt they give us. As for the outfit, you have this cardigan sweater. It's magnetic, so it's easy to close and open. You got a belt, a shirt, this shirt with this uh, like a table pattern we got these trousers the trousers look nice and the body really looks quite sturdy i like the body and especially the boots the boots are very well done the painting on the boots are quite quite good as i said before i don't know if this is a recast from a previous release or if they done everything from scratch anyway here is uh, just a first look at our figure and we are going to check now what other accessories we got here in this uh, first layer of the package also for ends we got here as well what seems to be a belt uh, for uh, the larger coat that it comes with as well it's just a brown belt we got as well a scarf quite large scarf and with some uh, a bit of some defect that I am seeing there, but that can be cut without any problem. Uh, what we got more here inside, what it seems to be is a bow, is a bow tie. Sorry, uh, yep, it's the bow tie. It's an accessory that I'm not going to use with my Lucius Fox. I really don't like this accessory. Comes with elastic, easier to install, but is something that I will not use again. Then we got as well his board with some papers. I think it's like his notepad or a sketchbook. Looks okay with the Wayne logo there that you can use for uh, some posing with your Lucius uh, Fox. Then we got as well what it seems to be a pen, but these things are so deep inside. Yes, we got here his pen. Looks okay, very, very small. It's quite difficult to show it on camera, but the details on it... As I'm seeing now, they look uh, very nice. You got the golden pattern going there with the silver as well. Yeah, for a pen and for a 1-6 scale pen, I think I wouldn't ask much more than this. And I think we as also have uh, his eyeglasses, but I will need to push it through because they are very, very deep there on the foam. Here it is. Uh, his eyeglasses golden they look a bit small and this plastic is very easy to break uh, you need to take care when you handle these eyeglasses and i will use it now in the figure let me check how it looks like if you handle it well it's not easy to handle these glasses because they look a bit uh, larger than the head but did it is how it will look like if you use your Lucius Fox with the glasses. You can always put them a bit front, uh, but later on when we do some posing, we will see which way the glasses will look better. But it's like this, doesn't look too bad, seems quite okay. Let's pass it out to the second layer. Let's see what the second layer have. Should be more accessories, of course. And we got here at least uh, one coat and one jacket. This is the larger coat. The material of this coat, it's really good. It's not leather, of course, but the, the material is uh, very soft and seems very well stitched. 
and the back here you can see it's really with a nice coloring and the nice details onto it. The buttons are the normal ones we see in one six scale and here is the place where you will use the belt if you want to. But for this coat I really like the material they went with, really a nice material to touch and I think for your Lucius Fox with a scarf this will be a nice coat to use with. Then we got a smaller jacket, it's a blue jacket, I remember that the present toys showed this one in their promo photos as well. It's just a simple jacket, a blue color, shorter one, but the stitching again looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm trying to open it here, but ah, here is, you really got the holes, you need to remove the buttons from the holes. I'm not going to remove the next one because I'm a bit afraid to break it, but anyway, it's one more jacket, one more option for you to pose your Lucius uh, Fox. Uh, besides this jacket, what we have more here in the accessories, what seems to be a newspaper, a notebook as well, and finally the display stand. I'm going to remove them all together and then we can see them more easily. Here we got the newspaper that you got different uh, covers that you can work with and which ones you want to use for Morgan Freeman, our Lucius Fox, to be uh, using when you pose him. You got different titles, it depends which one you choose to pose with your Lucius Fox. It's made of paper with a nice printing on it, nothing special, but it's always a nice accessory to have uh, with your figure. Then we got finally our notebook with uh, tiny details on it that look really really nice. You got that printing there on the screen that looks quite real. The keyboard of course plastic uh, mould, you cannot do anything on the keyboard, it's only for display purpose but I think looks quite nice. I don't know how accurate it is, I don't remember the notebook Lucius Fox used in the movie but anyway it's a nice accessory in case you got a desk or a table that you want to use your Lucius Fox with. Besides this, uh, this notebook, finally we only got the display case, the display stand, sorry, where you see here Lucius Fox. Is the oval one, pretty simple, nothing special about this. Let's take a look now at the figure. Taking again a closer look at our Lucius Fox, just uh, to show you again if in the first time when we do the unboxing you were not sure about the head sculpt, here I give you a different look. I think it's okay, we don't have any other Lucius Fox, so I think these have to work. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think uh, works quite well. Anyway, for the articulation, the, this body really feels very sturdy, you will not have any problems with the arms, you can pose as you want, Anyway, this is a figure that you will not do any di dynamic posing. You will have him using the, uh, holding the newspaper or holding the sketchboard, something like that. The legs are quite sturdy as well. You will not have any problem standing him the way you want. The feet have also a bit of articulation. Anyway, I think for the figure it is, this body is more than enough. I think, however, the shoulders are a bit too large, but it's just my opinion. Here it is our Lucius Fox with some simple poses only to show you how it looks like. I think if you are already into the Dark Knight uh, collection, if you already have those figures from Hot Toys and so on, this Lucius Fox may be a great option for your display. I hope you enjoyed this review, it's all for today and I will see you in the next one.